Hey everyone, in today's video, we are going to talk about the resolution to use when it comes to scanning artworks. Now, the resolution to use should be determined by where you are going to reproduce your art. So, for example, if you are going to share your art online, you actually don't need to scan at such a high resolution compared to if you are going to reproduce your art in a book or in a print. The resolution for scans of artworks that I share on my website is usually 1000 pixels wide. Now this resolution is considered high for sharing images online. I like to share at this high resolution because I like to see my sketches large and at this size, at this resolution, you can see a lot of details. Now the downside to sharing such high resolution images online is they can be susceptible to image theft, copyright infringement, I've actually had people who downloaded my images and reproduced them um, on bags, on clothes, like these two were actually stolen. So that's the downside for sharing such high resolution images. The other resolution that I share at is 500 pixels wide. So this is 500 pixels. This is half the size compared to this. So if you are sharing at a much lower resolution and there are a lot of details in your sketch, for example, it would be a bit difficult to see all those details. So this is the high resolution of the smaller uh, file earlier. So now the image is larger and the details are easier to look at. Another advantage to scanning at higher resolution is when you scale down to fit, sometimes you can get a sharper image. Now, if you are going to reproduce your art in a book like this or in a magazine or as a print, then it's better to scan at a much higher resolution than you normally would if it's just for online sharing. So for example, if I am going to reproduce my art in a book like this, I would scan at two to three times the resolution here. So I would usually scan at 300 to 600 dpi. Depending on the scanner software you use, you may be able to choose the resolution to scan at. So for example here, I have the option to scan at 75 dpi all the way up to 4800 dpi. dpi by the way is the measurement unit that's used to measure scanning resolution. And it also happens to be the same unit when it comes to printing resolution as well. dpi means dots per inch. The higher the DPI you scan at, the more dots you squeeze into that inch of square and the more details you will be able to capture. You can actually scan at a resolution that is many times higher compared to the monitor screen you are viewing on. The higher the resolution you scan, the larger your file size will be. 10 years ago, the resolution I usually scan at is 300 DPI. That's because back then, high resolution printers aren't that common. Nowadays, the printers are very advanced and can print at really high resolution. You can go online and find Canon printers that can print all the way up to 2400 DPI. So if you want to reproduce your art with high resolution printers, you should scan at a high resolution as well. So nowadays printers can print at high resolution. Monitors like this are also increasing in resolution. So for a low resolution scan that you have made a few years ago, when you view that scan with a high resolution monitor, that scan is going to look smaller. So nowadays I recommend scanning at high resolution because in a few years time, when you look at your scan, you don't want them to be so small on your computer. When you scan at high resolution, you can scale down very easily. But when you scan at low resolution like this and you scale up, it's going to look pixelated. So you're going to see jaggy edges, you're going to see pixelation and the art will not look sharp. It will not look nice. All right, enough talk on the theory. Let's scan something. I'm going to scan this pen and ink watercolor sketch using my Canon scanner. This scanner is the Canon Light 400, which I have reviewed recently. If you want to check out the review, the link is in the video description below. So I'm going to scan this sketch at different resolutions. I'm going to start at 200, then go to 300, 600, 1200, 2400, and finally at the maximum resolution, this scanner can scan at 4800 DPI. 
The file format for scanning should be an uncompressed file format. I use TIFF. You can save that scan into other file formats later on, but for the original scan, you should use an uncompressed file format. So let's scan. Now when you scan at lower resolution, it's going to be pretty quick. When you scan at really high resolution, it's going to take a pretty long time. For the next scan, I'll be scanning at 300 dpi. And now I'm scanning at 300 dpi. The scanning speed is still very fast. And this is at 600 dpi. So now the scanning speed is much lower and uh, light the scanning light is moving much slower so it's less noisy the next resolution i'm going to scan at is at 1200 dpi this is going to take significantly longer so i'm going to do an overview or preview scan first the preview scan will just take a few seconds and now with this preview i can choose only the area I want to scan. So I'm going to click here to use custom size and I'm going to scale down this scanning area. So now I'm only going to scan this rather than the whole glass surface that I have been doing so far. This is now scanning at 1200 dpi and the scanning light is moving so slowly that I cannot even hear it moving. While you were not watching, I have actually finished scanning at 2400 dpi. And now let's scan at 4800. I'm going to do a preview scan again. Scanning at 4800 dpi is going to take a very long time. So I'm going to let my scanner scan while I go for my lunch first. I just came back from my half an hour lunch and discovered that there is a problem. So the scan did not complete. So you see this file here? This is the 2400 dpi file and this is supposed to be the 4800 dpi file but the scan did not complete. So even if you want to scan at 4800 dpi, sometimes your computer may not have enough resources to do that. Because it is going to take a very long time to redo that scan, I'm just going to scan this little portion here, which I have already done. So this is how it looks. This is 1 by 1 inch at 4800 dpi. So when it comes to making very high resolution scans, you have to make sure that nothing goes wrong. If something goes wrong, then you have to redo it. It's going to take a lot of time. And for the scanner that I use, the paper has to be in contact with the glass. If the paper is off the glass, the scan area is going to be a bit blur. I would have to rescan it and if you're scanning at high resolution, again, you are going to waste a lot more time. So these are the six scans that I have just created. Let's take a look at the file size. By the way, the sketch that I scanned, the physical dimension is A5 size and that was scanned at 200 dpi all the way up to 4800 dpi. So for 200 dpi, the file size is 4.4 megabytes. When it's at 300 dpi, it's 9.5. And then at 600, the file size increased by three times. And from 600 to 1200, the file size increased by three times again. From 1200 to 2400 dpi, the file size increased by 2.5 times. And for 4800, I didn't even manage to complete the scan. So I only managed to scan one inch of my sketch. Based on my calculations, if I was able to finish scanning at 4800 dpi, that A5 sketch would be one gig in size. So that's a huge file. I've already gone through all the scans and cropped out the unnecessary parts and also rotated the scan. So this is what we have here. This is the problematic file that did not complete. All right, let's open up the lowest resolution file first. So this is the 200 dpi file. Let's take a look at the pixel dimension. So the dimension of this A5 sketch at 200 dpi is 16, 36 by 1159 pixels. So this is the resolution. Now notice I can change the resolution here. And as I change it here, maybe let's go up to 300. 
So notice the pixel dimension has increased. If I were to do this using the resample method, this is basically enlarging the scan and it's going to make everything look a bit more pixelated. So at this dimension and at this resolution, if you were to share this image on your website, so this scan definitely is more than high resolution enough for sharing online. As mentioned earlier, most of my sketches that I share, they are only 1000 pixels wide, but this is 1600 pixels wide. And now we are looking at the 300 dpi file. Now this scan has been resized to fit onto this computer screen. The actual resolution looks something like this. So this is the actual scan, the actual resolution at 100% zoom. The pixel dimension is 2439 by 1752 pixels. So the units here, pixels. Now, if you want to send this to a printer and that printer is using 300 dpi for printing, if you want to see how big you can print this, you can change the units here to maybe inches. Here in Asia, we use centimeters. So you can print this at around the same size as you have scanned it, almost A5 size, and it will be pretty sharp. And this file is 600 dpi and once again it has been skewed to fit onto the screen. Let's take a look at the actual resolution at 100% zoom. So you can see this is this scan is so much larger right now. Because this resolution is so much higher, you can see all the little details more easily. Let's jump to the 2400 dpi file. So this is four times the resolution of the 600 dpi and because this file is so much bigger it takes a much longer time to load so i'm going to view this at 100 percent so you can see how much more detail we can see and this statue on the right side Earlier on with the low resolution file, you can see that statue taking up a small portion on the screen. But right here, right now at this high resolution, we can only see the top portion of the statue. At this resolution, I can see the paper texture more clearly. And I can also see that the lines, they are not as sharp as I expected. So I may need to scale this down to sort of make the lines look a bit sharper. That's why earlier when I said it's sometimes better to scan at a high resolution and scale down, it would make your scan look a bit sharper. The pixel dimension of this 2400 dpi scan is close to 20,000 pixels wide. Now let's say if I want to send this file to a printer and the printer can only print at 600 dpi. So let's see how big we can print this. I'm going to turn off resample because I want my print to be sharp. I don't want it to be pixelated. So we can print this A5 sketch up to 82 centimeters by 58 centimeters. So when you scan at such high resolution, even if your sketch is very small, when it comes to reproducing in print, you can actually reproduce it many times larger than the original size. But bear in mind that when you print such a big print using your small original sketch, everything is going to look scaled up. So all the lines, for example, with this particular sketch, the lines are actually very thin, but if you are going to print it poster size or on a wall, big stickers pasted on a wall, those lines are going to be very thick. And finally, let's take a look at the scan at 4800 dpi. So this here, this is scanned at 600 dpi. This is at 4800 dpi. This has eight times the amount of resolution compared to this small scan here. Let's view this at 100%. This is already at 100% by the way. 
So at 100%, I mean, you really can see all sorts of details. You can see the granulation particles, you can see the paper fiber, you can see the paper texture. I mean, wow. But here, this is also at 100%. Notice that you can see details, but it's not as extreme as this. To conclude, I used to scan at 300 dpi, but going forward, I will be scanning at 600 dpi because in the future, high resolution printers and high resolution monitors like this are going to get more common. So if you want to print something in the future, you want to take advantage of the high resolution printers, it would be good to give the printer a high resolution file. And if you do not have that high res file, you may have to go back and rescan, and that's going to waste you more time. So why not just scan it at high resolution in the first place? And if you have a high res file, you can always resize them or resample them smaller to share them online. It's very easily done. So that's all for today's video on scanning and resolution. If you have any questions for me, let me know in the comment section below. I hope this video is helpful. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Bye.